How could we better transport all our milk stuff? We know it's gonna work in the... Hey, Gideon, what are you doing? No, please turn that off. He's watching his San Francisco birthday. All right, let's find a bin that maybe we could put all the cow stuff in. I'm not seeing it. We have mom's big totes downstairs. Maybe we should look at those, because if we get something, maybe we could get something even bigger than what I'm imagining, and we could carry everything. We wouldn't have to carry two. I'm looking for a crate that's double that. It's, it's twice the length, width. Turn that off and let's go, please. I'm not Come on, going. you take pictures. You be the photographer, but you gotta turn off the vlog. Turn off the vlog, it's not gonna reach out there. I'll tell you what, if you go with us, I'll, I'll let you watch that. I'll put it on the big screen for you. Okay. Rewards, Any, or bribery, anything it takes to get your kids to go with you. Here are my boots. Because why else are we doing this? Okay, let's go, guys. Down here, little crates. Where's mom's brutes that were right here? Oh, here they are. All right, I got the milk and pails, the reservoir, some udder treatments. We're missing the tumbler. You think we can get it in there with that, Jonah? Maybe. And cloths, cloths, we're out of cloths. Got that going. We're gonna have to just get a couple of our house cleaning cloths. Mama, Papa, how much are our milk? Hang on, Gideon. How am I gonna be when Snowball is here? Uh, you'll be, be you'll be six when Snowball's here. I'll be 20. Talking about our new baby due Papa next year. Six. Okay, uh, let's let's see if this will fit. Everybody, Mommy, trying to hold this on me. Boom, boom. All right, I got everything in there. I just put this reservoir inside that. I put the lid to those pails right there. Towels, some medical, some uh, soap, and water. Look, and the lid that's on it. Boom. Papa? Yes? Can we get a kid? Can Papa, can you get a kid grandma for me? I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Papa, when I'm trying to say, boy, you still have to just go. Hey, look, look, look. Some chickens escaped. Can you guys help me catch them? There's some underneath. Didn't go up last night. Oh, there they go. Hey, we'll just chase him over. All right, I really can't do anything about that. Probably go on a chicken hunt. We're only gonna keep the chickens that are gonna stay in here. We're raising chickens, bigger chickens, calmer, that are gonna be less likely to get out of this sheep net. Like this. We're gonna keep fat hens like this one. She'll never get out. You'll never get out. But it's just a chicken. I guess that makes me the crazy chicken lady. Goose is getting in there. Hey, could we make it so the chickens could get in that water? And then we wouldn't have to worry about that thing. I don't know, a step or something that the chickens can step on to get that water. That'd be game changer. Because then we'd have one water to service all three species. We can What's get another. Oh, you're thinking a ramp. That's too slippery. I'm thinking, you know what, you need, if you would make us a wooden box, probably just four inches, just a two, four by four, two by four framed wooden box. Think you could do that and we'd just move it with the trough? Yeah. Can you guys get down? Everybody's happy, everybody happy? Oh wait, we didn't feed them. Hey, get off the roof, please. Just stay off the roof. This, this alley is not a jungle gym. I'm gonna get Jonah to take the drone off. This is a really cool shot. The chickens, the sheep, and the cows. And so I'm thinking it'd be really cool if we're, you, get to, you get to see us driving by these three systems right here. Watch out, Gideon. Nice. Good catch. Scavers. Come on. We let the big cows through 
And then Phyllis naturally stays behind because they're cast with the sheep. We milk. These guys can't. We'll shut this gate back. They can't get in here with us and bother us. Get the alfalfa and whatnot. Look at this. Is she going in there by herself? With no alfalfa? I guess you could lure her in with the bucket. Yeah. Come on. Pop Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Day three. There you go. Nice. Papa, it's nice having that bin. I think that, that tote changes everything. Yeah. Uh, just so you know, it's not a tote, it's a bin. All right. Totes are grain. Papa, this is like the best place to milk. That is cool, that's a good point. Every day now, our milking scenery changes, Lily. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday when we were milking, we noticed a big, there's a gash going across, I think. Phyllis or Flossie, pecking order stuff, must have gotten her under there. So we're treating it with some vitamin E gel. We've already put the vitamin E gel. Hold on now, Jonah. And then we're gonna put superior cow cream. But not directly on the wing, but around it, just to encourage, uh, this will encourage blow, um, blood flow. It's kind of like icy hot, but organic. Thank you, Miss Thang. Let's get her with everybody else and let's get this shed moved. One species out, another one in. It's gonna be a hard pull. If anything you wanna push, hopefully we don't get stuck. It's wet and it's steep. One, two, three, push. That's what I was afraid of. All right, we're gonna let Jonah drive right here. Johnny, you're gonna to wanna to cut that way, okay? I'm gonna see if I can't push. Go. Breakfast wouldn't be breakfast without a little bit of smoke. Oh my gosh. All right, let's, let's take a break from that. Well, let's start over because I don't want to ruin your, you won't do any more tortillas Daddy. in there. Oh, okay, you're done. What happened? Yeah, butter got a little too hot. Okay, she's eating up some tortillas, heating up some sausage from the land. Look at these beautiful eggs. We're gonna have a wonderful breakfast. It's good. We got a haze in the air. Lily, you're burning it up. Mom, you see the haze? Mucho. She burn it up. If I get what you're saying, this is the pretty shawl. Mm -hmm. AKA she shawl. The she shawl, yeah. I don't know if you like that for block, holding in, not holding in the nest boxes, but decoration, so you're not just looking at nest boxes yeah, at the yeah. side. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I want. Or it would be easier if it would be one. Yeah, is that fine? fine? Yeah. I do want to make the windows as big as possible. I'll make the windows as big as possible. And then just, but have trim too, so that it looks nice. In today's episode of Burn It Up Cooking Show, I'm gonna get as much possible as I can on a roasted chicken, so let's call this the butter roasted chicken. Wash and skin potatoes. I'm gonna try to cook everything at once. Why cook a bunch of separate stuff? All right, who's gonna help uh, skin? Whoever wants potato, help skin. Lily got us some carrots out of our sandbox, out of the cool room. Jonah, you gonna wash those off? You into this, Jonah? No. I feel like I should get the chicken elevator. Put it on that. I feel like it would just get crispy all around if I did that. What, Rebecca? Cut this into quarters, maybe? The onion? Yeah. I did something a little special with our chicken. 10 cups of water, half a cup of salt. Lily, just I don't lose focus. I lost focus a long time. So that brine, hopefully, is supposed to penetrate and just keep, keep the meat moist. Just for steak. I've never done a chicken brine, so we'll see. We need to cut up some. Mama. Uh, Papa. 
There's lemons, guys. You have to rub them. Just Dude, rub them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Rub them all around and you'll get more But juice. I thought it was cooked in Really? Yeah. Who told you that trick? I watched it, I think. Okay. It, it just supposed to help with the juices. So we're going to put this underneath and it's supposed to help it stay moist. Right, Rebecca? Will lemon help it stay moist? Don't squeeze it on. I think it will also, uh, yeah. it's, it's a um, it's Okay. So I'm gonna do a whole cup of butter, which is like two sticks, and two tablespoons of duck fat. It called for olive oil, but I'm a carnivore, so let's just try duck fat. Now I'm just gonna try to mix the duck oil in with the butter. It's at room temp, at least almost room temp. And we're just gonna go nuts, actually. Becky, it's not sticking. How do I get that to stick? You're just gonna have to just do the best you melt can. it? No. I could melt it and then brush it on there. No. All right, so I'm gonna double boil this because I already, I've already got the butter in that, so let's melt that down. And then we could put some on our veggies. Bite Rebecca's advice. She says it's not necessary. I don't know, it's probably not. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're getting some coverage here. But is it is it all gonna fall? No, I feel like we're getting some coverage. We could have gotten. All right, we got everything buttered. And I'm gonna save some butter for halfway through, say. That's all the butter they call for. I'm gonna put more butter on halfway through. We're gonna do us what you call a slow roast. I know about the slow roast because I just asked Mr. Google Pants about it. Actually, I had my wife ask Mr. Google Pants about it because uh, we've prepped this and we really have two over two and a half hours till supper. And they said, we'll never go back to rotisserie chicken. Slow roasting. All right, we got that cooking. I'm gonna go source your shisha. That's gonna, that may be tongue twister, shisha, she, yeah. Cutie shaw. Pretty shaw. What about a pretty shaw? Rot resistant cedar. It looks like we're gonna need some of that. Oh, it's exciting, it's exciting. One inch wire mesh. Milk crates, fancy, flat-free, 26-inch tires. What are you doing here, Bunt man? Um, you know how the kids do pencils? Yeah. I'm gonna build like something that you pull it out, <gasps> pin with it, and then it falls back. That's in. cool. All right, I'm gonna get this set clean, Jonah. Promise me, when you're done with this, you're gonna clean it up. Sure. All right. Two minutes left on a 400. Didn't we turn it up to 400? I did. I just turned it up. So we cooked it slow, and then we want to brown the top. So we're cooking at 400, I don't know, 10 minutes. I wish this was smell-o-vision. I think I'm gonna cook it with potatoes and carrots from now on because it just smells so good in here. Timer's going off. You guys ready to see this? Boom. Jonah's finished good. You, you got a out, pencil attached. And you can just draw. Nice. And then that retracts. And you just let go nice. and it's back in there. And that's, there's a weight. Yep. How and clever. How clever. And then. Do you guys like it? Mm -hmm. Wow, it is so moist. Yeah. It is a hair salty. I didn't think it was that bad. It's not disgusting though. Well, it's delicious. I don't think I'm gonna do it in any other way. What? In the oven. Well, and it's definitely salt. Brian. Mr. Google Pants. And I crisp this up a little bit. I'm gonna get into the timing of the broil at the end, I think. Rebecca, to crisp it up. Yes, I do. 